How's it? Morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So we're here in Bersig, Heidelberg. And we quickly need to install a Centurion D5 Evo Smart for a client. We're also going to quickly dig a trench to fit the electrical cable in for the client. So yeah, should be a lucky installation. Let's see how it goes. It's always a hiccup or two. Let's see what we find and how we manage it. So, not all installations are equal. Not all are the same. Obviously, we need to create basically a level surface. We've cut the track open at the back there, which will allow us to weld the steel base plate down in order to create the steel platform for our gate motor. These uh, steel plates are specially manufactured for us. They're four millimeter thick. It's not going to rust in two years time. Where there's nothing left, you can basically stand on any corner of it and it's not going to bend. These are really, really thick ones. You do get the 2.9 mil, I think. I've tried them. And they're not good enough for our installations. That's why we use proper base plates. Because we do proper installations. Right from the first time. Let's continue. Looking here, you can see that we done with the platform. We've welded it at the back. Then on the steel plate we've cut a groove into it, which allowed me to bend it a little bit to basically get in underneath the wheels so that your wheels don't cause any obstruction on it. On the front here we've knocked in steel pins, 12 mils, and that's to prevent you from just ripping it out. So the platform is laid now. We can quickly just bring the gate, I'll show you there. There's no interference with the gate wheels onto the steel base plate. So our platform is good. It's now to quickly assemble the gate motor and install it. We're also going to cut a slot here for the electrical supply cable that needs to be fitted through the hole. Right here we have the Centurion D5 Evo Smart foundation plate. It's a little bit thinner compared to the older ones. Half nuts are used to secure the bolts onto the steel base plate. Now Centurion wants us to use another set of half nuts. which will basically allow you to, to adjust the gate motor up and down. You just get it in there quickly. I'm just going to quickly turn them flush down to the bottom. I'm not going to tighten them. There you 
you go. So all of them are basically flush. So what Centurion Systems wants you to do is turn them out 12 millimeter higher, which then basically allows your gate motor to sit higher. Then you weld the steel rack or nylon rack into place and then you screw them in which allows the gate motor to settle down. Unfortunately, in theory that can work, in practical sense it's not a long-term solution because what you're having is that your gate motor is not securely down to the base. You've got steel nuts that can assist with movement and then your gate motor rattles and vibrates the whole time and the gate motor will pick it up and you're getting multiple collisions and, and maximum collisions and problems like that. So rather refrain from that. You don't need to use the second half nut if you do the installations like we do it. What I want to show you guys here is We've just secured the steel bolts lightly onto the foundation plate. The gate motor is basically just kept in place. What we then do is we check that it's level. The big thing that it's parallel to the gate and then that's standing upright. When all of those aspects are done and in place We'll also check the spacing. Just going to quickly take this away. We're going to use a steel angle, steel rack on this gate motor. It's a 30 by 3 angle bracket. So that the spacing between the motor, pinion gear, and the steel gates is correct. It's just going to be easier for us to weld it into place. If you now look here on, with the steel nut, you just turn the camera around. You can see that we have movement forward and backwards, and it's the same on this side. Where we can still move the gate motor forwards and backwards to get the final parallel condition that we want with a steel sliding gate and the gate motor. What we also then would do is we'll test it. So I would normally just stand over the gate motor and watch the spacing between the gate and the gate motor pinion gear. And then obviously if you stand far away from it, you can see if it's lucky it parallel and all of the nice stuff that you need to have. There you can see everything's working. Great, just what we want. So we're now going to spot weld the steel base plate into position. Then we'll remove the gate motor. Weld it down completely. And then we can mount the gate motor finally. Just to quickly show you guys, we're busy with the electrical supply cable. So we're using Surfix 1.5 Twin and Earth. So you got, can see that it's got a aluminium covering that basically protects it. So it's a little bit harder compared to another wire. The Surfix wire can be placed underneath the ground. So we've dug a trench. Just quickly show you. So this is the only wire that you can put in the ground without fitting a con conduit pipe. So we went down two, two bricks. It's deep enough. Obviously the client will have the video at the end of the day. And so you can see, all right, that's where the cable was. So in future, don't get close to the cable. 
Well, look here, the base plate, we've welded that down completely and uh, we've painted it primer paint, Durham's NS4, primer paint, and it works well for us. Let's quickly fill up the trench and start with the gate motor. Just want to quickly show you guys a sequence of the anti-theft bracket. Got, if you look at them, you'll puzzle them out. That one goes in there. Let me just get a closer view. That one goes in there. The one at the back slides in there. And this one only comes midway. So what now is left? The adjustables that we with your spring washers. Then full nuts, not half nuts, full nuts. And all of them we're going to use, because we don't use the half nuts to adjust the gate motor, we use only we bolt it down, we get it down tight. What we're going to do is we'll secure the earth wire onto that bolt there with a half nut. So let me quickly adjust it and then torque it down. So this is where we are now. We've welded the steel gate rail to position. I don't know if I can show you. This is a small light gate. So welding is an art, not every, every Tom, Dick and Harry can weld, it's one of the things we can do and that, what, that is what makes us so good with the installations of gate motors. So next up, let's quickly just assemble the gate motor. We'll just assemble the gate motor and then connect everything up and then set the gate limits on the remotes. And obviously, the electrical supply wire, we need to do that as well. Nearly there. Okay, so keep your wires out of the way. It's quite difficult with the camera on one end and then the placing the cover back because you need to not look what you're doing so and then you're going to click it in that side we come back to this side and it clicks you must click if it doesn't click then it's not in and we can locking mechanism is working Close the gate, you can see it's locking and unlocking. All right. Now we can replace this cover, which is made for all of the snakes and lizards and rats. And we can start putting back the components back into the gate motor. I quickly have a look here. So, from factory, the charging voltage is 13.17. It's not enough to charge a lead-acid battery fully. You need to get the charging voltage set correctly, otherwise your gate motor battery is not going to last long. 
ask us, we know how to do it. That's it. Looking much better. That's what your charging voltage on your D5 Evo smart gate motor should be. Done. Electrical cable, trench has been covered. Site is clean. There's the client's new gate motor. Right, let's quickly test it. It's going to move to the other side. So that you can see the gate motor has got no vibrations. So the gate got hold of me. Okay, right. Let's have a look. Gate's in the open position. I'm just going to walk closer. I'm going to show you that there's no vibration on this gate motor when it's running. So if one, you want your gate motor installed like this and running smoothly, you know what to do. Give Portia a call 083 778 Thanks guys.